we also talked about sauces and condiments. So when you have your great proteins, whether it's chicken or fish or beef or beans or lentils, there are some great um, ways to spice it up. So sauces, there's one sauce that we talked about in particular that I really love, it's tahini. So tahini is a seed, it's sesame seed, and it's really wonderful because it gives a lot of flavor and it's a fat source. So remember, we want you to have one serving of protein, two veggies, and one serving of fat every meal three to four times a day. So no snacking in between, you're having actual meals with a protein, two vegetables, and a healthy fat source. And to that meal, if you wanna add a, carbo a higher carbohydrate like rice or potatoes, you can do that up to twice a day. And if you wanna add a fruit, you can add that to any meal up to twice a day. But you're not gonna have an apple on its own, you're going to include it with the meal. We want your insulin to go down between meals and only go up when you're actually eating. When we're talking about, oh, so we were talking about tahini. My favorite recipe is to um, roast cauliflower until it's really like browned and it caramelizes a little bit. It brings out some sweetness of it. And then when you take it out of the oven and you put it in your serving dish, then you drizzle tahini on it and you add Jill's herbed sea salt, which is phenomenal. And you all got one in your bags and it's just delicious. That is such a great dish. My whole family loves it. And it has, um, tahini has some good protein in it too, because it's a seed. So enjoy that. We also talked about capers. Another recipe I love is super simple. It's taking your wild caught salmon and turning on the oven at 350, preheating for 350, putting lemon juice, the sea salt, and dill on top of your salmon, and then adding capers. Capers are, I think, a little plant. They're like a pickle to me. They're little round balls, and Trader Joe's has them in the pickle section. And you just sprinkle those on. You bake your salmon at 350 for 20 minutes. It's phenomenal. And usually if you get a big slab of salmon, I do slit it into sections before I bake it so it cooks evenly and you won't regret it. It's just delicious. Um, we also talked about pickles. You can have as many pickles as you want, lots of pickles. Uh, make sure your pickles don't have any artificial colors in them. Trader Joe's does not. Their kosher dill pickles have only good things in it. So you're welcome to use those. But if you're going to buy any pickles from the grocery store, make sure it doesn't have any artificial colors in it. As we move down the aisle, we found another fun product and it was Hearts of Palm Pasta. There is no pasta on this cleanse, but Hearts of Palm Pasta has one ingredient and that's Hearts of Palm. And what you can do is you can, I don't recommend just opening up the package and eating it because it's has a little funky smell and taste, but if you boil it or saute it, then it actually is delicious. And you can add sauces to it, like a marinara sauce or a pesto sauce, and it's absolutely delicious. So you can get your pasta fixed that way without getting pasta because we're not doing any flours. Flours are concentrated carbohydrates that will spike your blood sugar. And we're not doing that this time. Uh, what else did we talk about? We talked about uh, lentil pasta, although not for the cleanse. Moving forward, all it has is lentils in it. So lentil pasta moving forward would be a good choice other than being when we're on the cleanse. We went down the aisle. We talked about spices. Um, I have a separate video for that, so you can watch that. And that's it for that aisle. Have a great day.